Good morning, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. We welcome you to our mornings with Brian and Tyler, and today we're in Proverbs 13, 24 and 25. He who spares his rod hates his son, but he who loves him disciplines him promptly. The righteous eats the satisfying of his soul, but the stomach of the wicked shall be in want. All right. So, uh, in today's world, uh, everybody has this mindset about uh, not engaging in corporal or corrective punishment because blah, blah, blah. I'm not even going to. Simple fact. If children don't learn basic respect and discipline at home, they will learn it with law enforcement or military or someone else on the street. That's why it says you hate your child if you don't discipline them. You say, but it says the rod. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And I want you to think about this for just a moment. Rod was about yay big around-ish, give or take. Rabbi one time, you know, one of my professors of Hebrew said, so what's the equivalent of the word rod there? And he said, mm, it's pretty close to what would be a Louisville slugger baseball bat. <gasps> well, okay. Now, Tyler, you're the oldest in your family. I am. Okay. So let's say that your mom and dad would have needed to have used the rod on you when your brother and sister were, say, like, what, what, Sierra? Three years younger? Sierra's six years younger. Matthew's three. Yeah, so three years younger than Matthew. Yes. Yeah. All right. So so we'll pretend that your sister would have been seven and, and your brother was 10 and you were a whopping 13 years old. And you walked in and your mom and dad told you to do something and you said something snarky like? No. That's snarky. Okay. We, all right. Well, I guess we've made improvement on your snarkiness. Yeah, or whatever it is you do when you do that. No, I'm not going to do it, and you can't make me, so. I wasn't that dumb at 13. Right? And so your brother and your sister are standing there, and they're thinking, hey, Tyler's getting away with this. And your mom picks up the rod, and she commences to thwacking you with it. And about 15 thwacks into it, as you're begging and pleading and crying, No, Mama, no! Then she stands over you and she says, Now, get up there and do what you're told. Oh, that's abuse! Now, you know what I know? You'd have figured out what? The rod hurts. You know what your brother and your sister would have figured out? We ain't pulling that stunt. Yeah, Mama and Daddy ain't playing. We ain't getting thwacked like Tyler did. <laughs> but that puts fear into children. And you think when tear gas and CS gas and pepper gas and riot gear and batons and tasers and rubber bullets and shotgun shells and, and you don't think any of that stuff doesn't hurt? You don't learn it at home. You say, well, they'll learn it at school. No, they won't. One teacher, 30 kids. No. The only place left for them to learn it is, is, is somewhere else. But the same kid that learns, you know, be obedient. Do what you're told. You say, well, some people have used that abusively. Sure they have. But as I look around our, our nation and I look at all the places where people have not been disciplined and now the whole society is ripping at the seams, the truth of this proverb stands stronger than the argument for those who say that it could be abusive. Mm-hmm. some abusiveness on this side or an entire civilization falling to pieces on this side. And just so we're clear, this is me teaching an historical application of Proverbs. 
It in no way represents, nor is it necessarily endorsed or agreed upon by any member or member of the leadership team of the Lake Butler Church of Christ. They have neither endorsed, condoned, nor condemned any aspect of this message to discipline your children. But God, Almighty, says do it. Just something to think about. Any other thoughts on this? No, sir. All right, with Adam Brian Reagan, this is Tyler Callie. I bid you good day.